I'm back. Time for the weekly back carry now. Um. Okay, our weekly back carry this week is Ruck with a candy cane chest belt. I'm in the middle of a live video, is now the time to ask? Uh, can, I can you give me an answer? Not right now. Okay. You're Nike. Are you supposed to be on the video when you're Nike? No. Go back. Okay, sorry. This weekly back carry is Ruck with the Candy King Chest Belt. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Ow. Ow. Um, I'll touch my dream. Do you want me to wrap you? No. Then go, go play. And uh, punk. It's not your turn right now. It's mommy's turn on the video. And try to go. Queen of the Joy. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Candy cane chest belt is great carry. It's nice and high. It loads more on the chest. Um, it's great for summer, great for leaning. Not excellent for seat popping, but it has some seat protection. Um, I'm gonna use a base minus three-ish wrap. And we're gonna start by measuring one double hammock measure off of center. Goodbye. And this is gonna be the spot that goes on baby's back. Okay. I'm going to assume that if you are trying this carry, you've already worked your way through the back carry boot camp and um, know how to make a seat. So I'm not gonna go step by step through that right now. I'm just gonna make the seat. My demo doll has an issue with one of its legs and the knee doesn't like to bend to make the seat. There we go. Okay, that's better. Okay, so the biggest issue that I see when people try this carry is they start by tightening the short tail and they spend a lot of time making it perfect and then they pin it in their knees, and then they move on to the long tail. If you tighten this tail and do all sorts of work and then pin it in your knees, your knees do not have fingers to maintain the tension on the tail. So just tighten the top and bottom rail enough to maintain the seat and then move on to your long tail. And do all the work with your long tail first because that is the tail that pins and secures your seat. So you wanna make sure to very carefully, strand by strand tighten through your tail. Make sure you're tightening up over your shoulder instead of down in front of you because otherwise you're tightening around corners and not actually tightening anything efficiently. And then make sure you're also tightening with your shoulder in the position you want it to be at. If you tighten with your shoulder up by your ear and then you drop your shoulder, you're gonna end up with a mile of bottom rail slack and you'll have an insecure seat. No, goodbye. Just take this trash can. Then take the tail and it's gonna go over both of baby's legs to pin your seat down. Right in baby's knee pit.
then hold it under your arm while you strand by strand tighten your short tail nice and carefully and make your candy cane chest belt. So this carry should be just as high as another ruck with baby's shoulders, even with your shoulders. And you should have a nicely tightened single pass here that doesn't have any weird bunching up by baby's head um, because you've pulled all the width down to make your seat. And then you've got your single bunched pass that goes over both of baby's legs to pin the seat down on both sides. If you're gonna go over and under, you need to have two passes that do the over and under. Otherwise, you've got one leg pinned and the other leg can just dangle if baby wiggles. So that's why when you have a single bunched pass, it goes over both of baby's legs to pin the seat on both sides. Um, you can also wrap this carry as a seatless carry. which is nice and fast if you are um, in a hurry. So with the seatless carry, you're not gonna make a traditional seat and lift the legs into place. You're going to pin the top rails, pull the fabric down, <clears throat> pin with one arm and tighten while you hold baby in position and then bring the tail around and tighten the other side while you're still holding baby in the position you want for that super shallow seat. So I'll show you that, but I can't actually say anything while I'm holding the tails in my mouth. Goodbye. You are on camera and you are not wearing clothes. That's not allowed. I Go. am not on camera. Goodbye. Go to your room, please. Okay. So if you do it seatless, it's quite fast, <laughs> but you end up with a much, much shallower seat than you would if you did the traditional carry and because my demo doll has the leg issue, it's, no, I'm talking on the video. My demo doll has the leg issue doesn't actually look like it has a seat on this side because it always pops out because it has no knee. But you can see on this side that the knees are just level with bum, which is pretty much the shallowest, shallowest secure seat that you can have. But it makes it much more comfortable to have a shallow seat with a ruck because it loads on your chest rather than pulling back on your shoulders and it loads higher up on your upper back rather than dragging you down. So doing it seatless is nice. It allows you to get it nice and high and tight and really tightened in toward your center of gravity. And it's really, really fast if you do it correctly because you just pin the rails, pull it down, tighten the cross, pass it to yourself, tighten, and then make your candy cane chest belt. 
and you can literally do it in like a minute if you're in a hurry. So that is a great option if you want to try doing this carry as a seatless ruck as well. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments and I will answer them as soon as I get off of here and the video uploads. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. Bye-bye.